a good bushback country in there. Yeah. I'll tell you what, trying to spot them in this stuff though. <laughs> you hunt these things with a machete. You want to work down to the river and then we'll just kind of walk that river course maybe. Alright. Dial it down to three power on this one. It's going to be close in shooting. Hunting them here in our Lolo Pande concession is, is an art on itself because they hang out in the thick, thick stuff. Where there's elephants, there's hippo. You know, a lot of bushbuck hunting is done just kind of walking riverbed corridors on that soft sand early in the morning, late in the evening. They're diurnal animals, which means they're active early in the morning and, and just before dark. So if you want to see them, they've almost got to be moving. You've got to really sift through cover as you're working those dry riverbeds and just kind of glass and glass and glass and glass. And sooner or later, you're going to pick up the turn of a horn of one of these beautiful little antelope. And that's it. About 75 yards up there. Yeah. It was on the right side. Yeah. Okay. He was just on this bank up here, wasn't he? Watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him. What do you think? I think it's a, damn, he's beautiful. What a beautiful antelope. He's not big enough. There's a, oh, really? His colors doesn't it? Was he about 12 maybe? Yeah, he, he might not even make 12. He's it it got very thin bases and just, just about stopped going. I mean, you can see how in heavy cover those things stop. You never see them. Yeah, those spots and act, act as a camouflage when he's in the thickets there. I never see them standing like that. No. Like that well, it's his lucky day, I'll tell you that. It's like he knows that I'm an, <laughs> I'm an inch shorter. Look at that. Just magnificent. I mean, what an amazing critter. Yeah, there he goes. Okay, hit it up for that. Bushbuck are never easy. Finding a trophy takes a lot of time and effort, but in the end, it can come down to a twist of fate and horn. Bushbuck, they almost sort of happen. I mean, it's not like you really make it happen. You, you can't force a bushbuck hunt. And you just have to be aware and be ready if, if the opportunity arises. And we came around to Ben, and uh, off to my left, maybe 50 yards, is. I see two tiny little horns sticking out of a bush that just didn't look like branches. Push back, push back. Back here, back here. It was right here on the corner. It's all right back up here. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. That is a good one. Take it. Good, good, good. Watch him. It's good. Oh, it's gone this side. This side. Felt good. I saw him buck just as he went out of my sight picture and heard some crashing off into the bush. We go running over there, and sure enough, there's the bush buck, and he didn't go maybe 30 yards. Can you believe we caught up to this guy? Look at that. That's like three seconds to make the shot, man. That's it. Excellent shooting. Clear this. <laughs> Look at that! What a beautiful animal, look at that. Yeah, it's one of those deals where you spend, you know, countless hours looking for bush buck, you make a bunch of different stalks, you blow stalks, and then it's over in 20 seconds. I mean, that's big game hunting. Not having to think about it, it's about getting into autopilot, having everything ready to go, and knowing what your job is to, to get that shot off and make a good shot in a short amount of time. And when it comes to bush buck hunting, that's far and away the key. You just have to get out there, go instinctive, make that shot, and you'll get them. Don't worry about it, just do it. That's Toby Bushman. <laughs> Congratulations again. Well done, man, well done. God bless you for calling that shot. What a beautiful animal. 20 years ago, I did my first safari in Africa to South Africa, which I think something like 60% of all the safaris taken in Africa are actually taken in South Africa. But to come back after almost 20 years, and to a different region I hadn't been to in South Africa and really experienced kind of a, just a wondrous place. I mean, a place that's got tons of game, lots of opportunity, wonderful hosts, and, and Phil and Kate, I mean, you will not find better folks than these two people to, to share time with. So coming on safari, I think you really are looking for the total experience. And if you want to bring a spouse or kids, 
this is the place to do it. They can look at game. Kruger National Park is just down the road. You could be looking at the big five in one day, lion, elephant, buffalo, leopard, rhino. It's really at it all. When Chris Dorsey contacted me and told me about his desire to take a good Limpopo bushbuck um, and the time of the year that he said he can come and it's the only time he could come, uh, it, it was a little bit worrying. Uh, this time of the year, um, May, it's still pretty dense and thick here. The leaves hasn't fallen off the trees and that makes, that makes hunting an animal that frequents thick areas like a bushbuck uh, a difficult time. This is a good area to get glass for Nyana as well as bushbuck. Aye. This area has got lots of them in there. Right there, right there, right there. Just to the right of the yellow leaves. Okay, yeah, I see him, I see him. Damn, look at that. Yeah. He's not too bad. That's a beautiful animal. Look at the markings on him. Wow. Did you see the bases? Uh, you need a little bit more weight on that. But it's a good one. Just move up here in case there's another one. Well, this is a beautiful spot right here. You just take the sticks, just in case. You want to just sit here for a while? Yeah, we can stay here for a little while, but I want to go and walk the bottom as well. All right. Look at that water hole down there. That looks pretty good. You must be using that. So I know where some good ones hang out, and I told Chris that we're going to walk up to a watering hole and uh, see if there's anything about Just over this rise, there's a wall, and I've been seeing a very good bushbuck here. So I want us to sneak up and just glass the area. Okay. And if it's there, it's there. Otherwise, we move on. Okay. Sounds good. Female? Young male. There's a young male. But see, see the way it's looking back over his shoulder. There's something coming. Let's get ready. Might be a nice one. Get out and stick. Here comes, here comes. Just wait for that guy to clear. There's that young one in front of it, as you can see. Take him when you're ready. Yeah, I still got him in front. Yeah, just hang on. I don't know. Yeah, we've got time. Here we go. Okay. Oh, it's all like you got hit. Yeah, that's a good one. He just cut off to the right. Yeah. Could you it. tell? Yeah, that's a good. Like right that's, behind the shoulder. That's mate. a good, good eat, but let's give him All right. a little bit of time, and I want that youngster just to move off with that. Right. Oh, they're cheeky when they're wounded, too. Yeah. What good. a call. Good this one. Is, uh, this is 10 o'clock Charlie here, huh? He said, yeah, he comes here in the mornings. or 10.30, 10 o'clock, he'll show up. Sure enough. Well, let's go have a look at this guy. He, he can't be far when that shot was right where it needed to be. Oh, buddy. Love it when a plan comes together, huh? I can't imagine he went too far. It looked like a good oh, hit. Oh, you got it a good shot there. Got some track there. But you got to just be on the ready as well. Remember that the bushbuck and with the buffalo, they both they're aggressive, nasty right? they when they're yeah. wounded. Yeah, I got you. It's a small little animal. There it goes. More blood right here. There you go. Hey. 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 <laughs> I tell you nice what, one. you call this one perfectly. Okay. Nice one. They are beautiful, aren't they? Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Shot's right behind the shoulder. He's not going anywhere. Well done. Beautiful little animals, aren't they? My goodness, look at that. This is the smallest one of the spider horns, but also one of the really beautiful ones. Boy, they really are. Look at that. You see what I mean about these being dangerous? Oh, maybe? yeah. They're little daggers, they actually aren't they? turn up. It's like daggers, yeah. And, uh, but he's still got a good cape. And uh, although it's a, quite an old animal, beautiful. Nice one. Well, you've got your bushbuck with bushbuck safaris. <laughs> so, excellent. Good. God bless you. Well, let's get this little guy out of here, huh?